Best Friend is the type of movie that, if you remember, there used to be almost every August or September, there was this stalker movie with this light-skinned man or woman who got in the way of this black couple being in bliss. This, if that was your favorite kind of movie, will definitely scratch that itch. To summarize the film, since elementary school, Trisha and Jamie have been best friends, and as adults, they run a marketing company named Tremi Digital together, and from what the movie says, it's one of the top digital firms on the West Coast. But, of course, with any like with any business, they want to get bigger, escalate things, and so they pursue Jason Maxwell, who's supposed to be one of the youngest African-American self-made billionaires to invest in their company. However, one of the problems on the way to getting that deal signed is that Jason gets murdered. And unfortunately for both Jamie and Trisha, Detective Kyle Hayes seems to think either one of them have possibly killed Jason due to their association with him within about an hour of his death. So the highlight for me is just in the beginning when you're watching Trisha and Jamie's friendship, it just feels like that type of friendship you don't really see between men and women, especially black men and women in terms of, yes, there's some things that definitely can give an outside of it, flags like them cuddling and all that, but it also shows a cute platonic intimate relationship between two people of an opposite sex. And it gives those kind of like, that's my little sister, that's my big bro kind of vibe, and it's cute in many ways. Especially since the way that the chemistry is between Soraya and Marquise Houston, it's good. It's believable and these two could potentially actually be friends. And yes, sometimes it's a little bit awkward between them, but at the same time, it's an awkward that works for the characters in a way that allows you to understand that these two have known each other since childhood. So while it may be awkward for you to watch, at the same time, it's natural for them. So low point for us is the ending, and that's because after a certain point in the film, it just goes off the rails. Jamie reveals that he's gone a little bit too far with trying to be protective, and that just gets swept under the rug by the end of the movie. And then Detective Hayes' whole investigation into who killed James blows up, and it leads to some of the most asinine acting that makes it seem like someone, and I won't say who, unless you saw the movie, then you already know who, they start doing what feels like a very bad joke impression as they start getting very, like, insane and... It's just... It just makes me happy that this came out on Tubi instead of in theaters, because even with AMC A-list, I would feel like I would have wasted my money. Which leads to the on-the-fence topic, and... I know that when it comes to films, TV shows, and all that, you should speak on what is and not what it could be, but I have to admit, with us seeing so many thrillers, especially ones with black people with deals with stalking, crazy exes, and storylines like that, to the point it was almost a yearly thing, even to the, to the point where like all these different distributors would focus just one month on releasing these kind of films, it does kind of present an annoyance for me that when it comes to Trisha's relationship with James Maxwell, you see this opportunity to pursue something different. They could have still had it where it was a thriller, where it was ve definitely something with an uh, uncomfortable situation between uh, Jamie and Trisha as, you know, a platonic couple or power duo because they own their business together, and then James on the outside kind of infiltrating that. But what I was thinking that could happen since I didn't really do my research when I saw this movie I just like ooh black film with actors I know so at a certain point it kind of seemed like between Trisha and James because James was pursuing Trisha romantically while she was pursuing a business deal we could have got a very rare else like not really dumped depiction of how black women when they try to get into business deals and you know thinking black guy you're gonna understand you're gonna be like bro and help me grow my business yet you don't get that you get a me too or you get a times up situation but that's not the route this movie goes by it has all the potential to do that because trisha does not really care for james and him taking her out on dinners and seemingly trying to romance her even buying her this diamond necklace you can tell makes her very uncomfortable 
So when he gets killed off, that kind of destroys a very interesting storyline they could have went on. But again, sometimes you just see really good potential in a film and then it goes left and goes down that well trod road and you're just like you had the opportunity at the very least so i know you can do it it's just for whatever reason you decide to completely ignore what could have been the more better and original story overall when it comes to best friend it kind of acts as a reminder that even in the well trod road stories that we've seen over and over again there were paths that could have been taken that could have presented us something new but for whatever reason whether it is lack of creativity, time management issues, whatever, the well trod road gets taken over and over again. And when it comes to best friend, it just leads us to a lot of what's familiar in sometimes the worst ways.